Hello friends, welcome back, and surprise, there's an update to Luminar Neo today to version 1.14.1. It's got a nice little feature in it, it's got some bug fixes and that sort of thing. I'm going to cover some of that at a high level in this video. Let's get started. First, just a couple of slides. Uh, there is an update out, as I said, and if you're a subscriber or you have the 2023-2024 Creative Journey Pass, you now can draw free form using the uh, Neon and Glow tool, which is really cool, and I'll show you how that works. It allows you to adjust the shape and intensity, but there's also a straight line trick. I don't know about you, but my hand is not very steady at all, probably owing to a little too much caffeine at times. But there's a straight line trick, same as the way you do it in masking. I'll show you that. But you can really enhance photos pretty nicely and subtly and make a nice impact on them. I'm going to show you that. So that update to that tool is for subscribers or Creative Journey Pass owners. But also for anyone that owns Luminar Neo, more refined brush performance, more accurate rendering of brush strokes in toning, more responsive brush masks in dodge and burn. I can't really show you that stuff though. You'll just have to play with it and check it out because I don't have the old version to compare it to. I'm updated to the new version. Um, there are a number of bug fixes as well. Uh, Mac OS, you can see here, better light source rendering in studio, uh, in studio light, better smoother workflow with background removal. I'll show you a couple of things there, uh, but also some Windows bug fixes as well which of course I will not demo because I don't have a Windows computer. So what I want to do is pop into Luminar Neo and let me show you the straight line trick and the updates to the Neon and Glow tool. So uh, here's my image yeah, before and after. Um, you can see I made a few adjustments that was in Develop Raw and I cropped it and things like that. But I want to go into Neon and Glow and show you that now you have this free form drawing tool right here. So just make sure you click on that and you can just draw around. So you can just draw anywhere. Uh, not that I would do that and it will apply for you. And of course you have all the same adjustments here to kind of refine that selection. Uh, but for me, the really cool thing is that there's now this straight line trick. So you can draw straight lines. So let's say I have some really cool light trails, but I want to accentuate those light trails and these are uh, boat light trails in Amsterdam. So what you do, and this is the same as a straight line trick in masking. So if you know that trick, you're already going to know this trick. But what you do is you, you get your mouse and you hover to wherever you want to start. And you just make one click. I'm starting here in this very bottom left corner at the very edge of this red light streak. And I make one click and I kind of set the beginning of my line. I've now let go. And what I'm going to do is, without depressing the mouse, I'm going to move to the end of where that light streak is. So that's down here. Now, before I click anything, I want to hold down the Shift key. So I'm taking my left hand, and I'm holding down the Shift key. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click once with my mouse at that end point. And in doing so, I just created a straight line. So you can now do that because you have this uh, nice little freeform drawing tool. You can also draw these straight lines. So I could come in and do this multiple times with a, a light streak or multiple light streaks, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here, shift and click, and then I'm going to do it one more time here. One click and then let go, come down here, hold down shift and click. And boom, I've got these light streaks that are perfectly straight because I use that straight line trick. Uh, now, of course, I need to adjust the color. So I want to come in and do things like I want them to be a little bit more orangey red. Let's say something like that. I want to pull down this whiteness, maybe pull down the amount. I don't want to overdo it, but I just want to pop those a little bit. Maybe give them a tiny bit of atmosphere. And here we go. Before and after. Before and after. And that's a quick way to use the straight line trick with this freeform drawing tool to really make a nice impact on your use of a neon. Now I can close that tool because the other thing I could do is open it again and I closed it because I wanted to have those adjustments apply there. I'm going to make different adjustments somewhere else. Another idea is to come in and again this is not using the straight line trick. Uh, that was just for those straight lines. These are not going to be straight, but you could come in and do something like this because you have this free form drawing tool. You could come in here and say that you want to accentuate these lights that are over this arched part of this bridge. Now, this is where my failure at being very accurate will be on full display for you, my friends. But, um, you know, hey, we're all friends here. You're not going to hold it against me. And, you know, this is just a demo. But I drew this line or arch uh, over there. And again, 
wrong color, wrong size, wrong shape, that sort of stuff. I want to bring it down to match a little bit more of the color that was there to begin with. And I want to pull down the spread and I want to pull down the amount. But, you know, doing something like that very roughly is a nice little way to accentuate other lights in the photo. So if you look at the before, there it is, and the after, season to taste, play around. But the big thing here is, of course, the update that includes this free form drawing tool and the straight line trick here in the neon section of Neon and Glow comes in super, super handy. Now, another thing that's pointed out, and these are their notes, by the way, not mine, is that you get a smoother workflow with background removal AI in layers. So if you're not familiar with how that works, go into layers and go into masking and then background removal AI. This identifies your subject and then allows you to remove the background and replace it with something else. If you want more demo videos about using this uh, feature here in Luminar, let me know down below. Now, again, I can't compare this smoother workflow to what it was like before because again i'm on the most recent edition but i will say that honestly for a reasonably complex situation it did a great job i mean it cleaned out the windows even this little side window the only challenge here is around the tires and the grass and i honestly think that would be a challenge uh, regarding really any product that you use uh, and in here i've just got a little bit of a background that's a texture Maybe I play with opacity, I could play with blend modes, but the bottom line is you can pretty quickly go in and remove a background and uh, you know put a new one in place and create a different kind of sort of composite type photo. So I think that's a pretty nice update as well. And they also talked about more accurate light source rendering in the Studio Light tool. Again, can't really show you how it compares to the previous version, but I just want to point out Studio Light and kind of what it does if you weren't familiar with it uh, or haven't been using it, but it's a really neat feature. And of course, I'm not really a portrait photographer. I did take this portrait, however, um, but I love the flexibility and the idea behind these kind of things. And this is your light source position. And you can see as I'm moving this around how it's changing how the light pattern is falling on the model here. So again, can't compare to what it's like before, but I mean, the rendering of this light pattern and light source to me looks pretty amazing. Now it needs some adjustments and things like that, but the bottom line is that's been improved as well. And as it says here, you know, again, this is text from the Luminar team. Lots of different little bug fixes and little updates that are just going to improve performance and your overall experience with Luminar. And of course, if you're a Creative Pass or a subscription customer, I love the free form and the straight line trick with Neon and Glow. It's, um, that's your update. By the way, if you don't know how to update, just go to Luminar Neo and click check for updates and it will check for updates. And of course, I'm up to date because I've already done this. That's why I was able to make this video, you know, surprise. Um, that's how this stuff works, my friends. Check it out and get your update. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know what other topics you would like me to cover. I've got a whole bunch of things. I've been kind of under the weather earlier this week. I was out of town shooting in Colorado last week. I'm back. I've got a lot of ideas, but I'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment down below. See you soon, my friends. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.